consider a right triangle with legs of length A, B, and hypotenuse of length C. The end circle of this triangle is the largest circle contained in the triangle. It is tangent to each of the three sides. The radius R of this circle is called the end radius of the triangle. The end radius can be used to decompose the triangle into four triangles and a square as demonstrated. If we glue a second rotated copy of this triangle to the original along the hypotenuse, we end up with a rectangle decomposed into eight triangles and two squares. We can then arrange the pieces of this rectangle dissection to form a different rectangle. From the decomposition, we can see that this new rectangle has length given by A plus B plus C. And the width of the rectangle is given by the in radius R. Because the areas of these two rectangles must be equal, we can equate the areas to see that A times B must be equal to R times A plus B plus C. But then we can use this equality to find that R is equal to A times B divided by A plus B plus C, giving us a formula for the in radius of a right triangle in terms of its side lengths. But that's not all. We can do more. The four triangles from the original decomposition tell us extra information. The leg of one triangle is A minus R, and the leg of the other is B minus R. But these two legs side by side create the hypotenuse of the triangle so that C is equal to A minus R plus B minus R. We can again use this equation to solve for R and we'll see that R is equal to A plus B minus C all divided by 2. We have found two formulas for the in radius of the right triangle in terms of the side lengths.